who you asked. Is that on? Look, my timing's off. Let's talk about getting your time right and the advice that is needed. Stay tuned. Welcome to another episode of Tack Gear with Stephen C. I am Stephen C. And today we are looking at the Are You Ready Speed Timer. This is an amazing device. I love this thing. Uh, it does what it's supposed to do. Now I have my range officer certificate. So to walk around with this, I can make my, my own games, my own competitions, whoever wants to be involved and we can do that. Now, if you're in the GTA area and you're looking to pick one up, I would go to Double Tap Sports in Mississauga. They're available for 125. What a great timer. We go inside the functions. Let's do that. Let's go into these functions. So we're gonna press down mode and we're gonna press it again. Three seconds and let go. First, we got range officer mode. And as you can see, it's set to five minutes right now. Now, when start is pressed, a loud beep goes off and it starts counting down five minutes. At the one minute mark, you will hear two beeps for your one minute warning, then a final one beep at the end. Next option we got is par. I love this. This is actually my favorite. Great for a match, especially with your friends. If you wanna do a, how many shots you can discharge at the target, maybe give it three seconds, maybe a four second timer. It is off right now. And all we gotta do is hit the up and down and you can see it is in milliseconds. So we're operating this in milliseconds. Here's a two second mark right there. Next, we got sensitivity. Now, the default level for a firearm would be 32. So you wanna set this back to 32 if you ever do touch it and you go back to the range. So next will be your battery life and how many voltage you have left. Uh, these batteries last a long time, that's all I can say. I can't even tell you uh, how long, but you won't be changing them for a long time. So due to the high level of noise, during today's episode, I will be wearing the Sport Ear X Pro earplugs. Now these earbuds fit just, just great in my ear. They just go right in. These earbuds go from minus 19 to minus 30 dB when I press. Now I can hear the difference is just a bit more airy. Uh, I don't hear a total big difference, but you think you would hear 11 decibel is very dramatic. Press it back in so I can hear the, the, the noise, the room noise disappearing. Really cool. And you can get yours at Double Tap Sports at Mississauga. Tell Yasko Steve sent you. You feeling lucky, punk? All right, now we are gonna test the Are You Ready timer. I had the sensitivity low to 10, which should reach this air pistol. It is CO2 powered. This is the Crossman Vigilante and we'll be shooting pellets. Now I have four stationed targets which collapse. We'll be shooting at those. I set my par to three seconds. I have three seconds to discharge. It says three seconds. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get to the position. I'm loaded. Ready. So it registered two shots out of three. My last shot was at 2.76 seconds. This is set for three seconds. All right, so I've reset the targets. We're gonna do this again. I got five shots left in this. I expect to see five shots. I've lowered the sensitivity to six. It was at 10. Standard is 32 if it's a real firearm. Now part is off. What I'm gonna do is have a delay start and it should count all my shots. Now I have five shots to get four targets down. So let's see what happens. We're gonna get in position. Shooter ready. Ready. There was my five shots. I missed my first two, uh, then I missed again. 
It recorded all five, which is great. So that sensitivity worked out very, very well. I could see my first shot was at 1.79. Second shot, 2.77. My split was 0.98. So in all, it took me 5.88 seconds to discharge five rounds and I only got two hits. All right, so there you have it, the Are You Ready Speed Timer and how to use it. Not just for firearms, you can use this for air rifles, air pistols, as it just displayed. Just keep that sensitivity nice and low. The six worked amazing. Keep it nice and close, you should be able to read every shot. Just remember when you're back on the range, you wanna put that sensitivity back to 32, which is the standard default. Remember to keep it safe, always have fun while you're shooting, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.